go through the process of sharing a model using eTransmit. So let's see how we do it. Transmit is an add-ins that usually gets um, by default in your Revit version, in this case 2022, and I will show you how to use it. So this is really important because you can use it to get a file that is in good quality with not too many views and only with things that are necessary for someone to actually use it later. So we'll save the project. In this case, I will save it in my desktop in a new folder. So I will create a transmit. So in here, I will save this project, make sure that it's disconnected with any central model and we are good with that, All right? So we'll create another folder in here that it will say something like the date. Today's date is 2023. And then underscore issue, for example, for 30%. All right, so we have it there, but we are not going to save in that folder. We just need a folder inside whatever we want um, to publish or to have this new file saved in, All right? So we are going to just save locally our Revit file. Once we save it, we are going to close any open projects. And now we will go here. So without any project open, we are going to transmit models. Now we will browse to the Revit file. So we need to locate the Revit file. In this case, it is in eTransmit. And we know that is my Revit file is in here. So we'll click OK. You can also browse to just the model. So we will see if we go to desktop and then look for eTransmit, you will find the Revit files there. All right, and in here, where to save the model. So here we need to point to that folder that we just created. So the, we, the one with the date and the status. So that's good. Then we need to make sure that we include transmitters and error reports. So we will include the transmitter and any errors in that folder. Then create output folder for each source model. Usually we don't want to create an output folder for each source model. Add files. So in here we want to just link Revit models. Anything else, just uncheck. Then upgrade and clean up. I usually check this because I want to purge any any views that are not on my sheets. So once I do that, I also make sure that I purge unused. So that's good. And then I save the settings for next time. With that done, I can now just click in transmit models and you will see this window telling you the status of this and letting you know whenever it is done. So in here, you get a notification that says successfully saved. So we click OK or open folder. If we open the folder, this is what we are going to see. So it is inside our folder with the transmitter report and with the project. So let's go see if it is in there. All right. So we go inside here and we get a folder and we get this file with the transmitter report. Let's see what the transmitter report says. Created by the transmit by, so it tells you the date, the name of the model, the files, um, the root models, and everything went really well. All right. So that's how you do it. And now you can, you have a clean model that doesn't, it's not that heavy. So we see only 16 megabytes. And if we go back, let's see the other one. This was 15 megabytes. So this is even heavier. All right. That's how you do it.